Hey guys. Having a having a very 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 bad day filming today. So that was the brown complete this Hey guys, I hope you're all doing good and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial. Um, I was anyways planning to do a makeup tutorial but I was um, undecided about it actually and I got a few requests to do the recreate the makeup look that I was wearing in my Delica powder face wash review video so that made life for me a lot easier. Um, it is basically a brown uh, smoky eye with fuchsia lips and I've tried to recreate it to the best of my knowledge because when I sit for a uh, makeup I just pick up some random eyeshadows and try to create a look out of them uh, but yes I have tried to recreate it it's a very classic and um, easy black smoke uh, black it's an easy brown smoky eye um, if I'm ever going for a smoky eye look I really love to uh, work brown smoky eye because not only is the smoky eye a lot softer easier to work with it is also very versatile in terms of the intensity of the smokiness that you want so if you want to go for a light smoky eye you can use a lighter shadow if you want to go for a dark brown smoky eye like I have here you can use a darker shadow so it's something that you cannot play with black obviously because you don't have light black and dark black do we so I hope you all um, enjoy this video tutorial I have done a talk through video this time because I really I haven't spoken to you while doing a makeup tutorial the last tutorial was speechless only music and the one before that I think was a voiceover so yes um, I have spoken to you in this video I hope you all enjoy it and I'll see you soon bye okay guys so for primer I'm going to use max paint pot in constructivist um, this is also a dark uh, brown um, eyeshadow base um, you can use whatever eyeshadow base you are comfortable with. Um, just using a brown base or a dark base is going to just help, uh, you know, color to be a little more intense. And I'm just going to pat it with my fingers. Now I'm going to take this color here, which is called texture. This is basically an orangish color, and I'm going to uh, lightly uh, do my crease, concentrating the color on the outer corner and then pulling it inward. Next up, I'm going to take Boshua eyeshadow. This is number 74, which is basically a dark brown eyeshadow. And I'm going to take the eyeshadow and place it um, inside, like more into the crease rather than going above. So it'll come just below texture and a little more tightening in the crease. For a smoky eye, um, it is very important that the look uh, complete eye makeup should look very smoked out and uh, very feathered you know it shouldn't look concentrated on one place that is what a smoky eye is so you want the um, darkness or the intensity of the colors to be uh, fading out toward the upper corner like the upper side of your eye going, starting from bottom for the lid, I'm going to take a L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow Mono. This is Endless Chocolate, which is basically a chocolate brown color. And I'm going to take this on a brush like this and pat it all over the lid. And because we already have a dark um, base underneath this, the intensity of the eyeshadow is pretty high. Um, and I don't have to struggle with getting the color onto the lid. You can go back with this blending brush on which we took the bourgeois shadow and blend out the um, colors. The key to achieving a great smoky eye is blend, 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 blend. To take this dark eyeshadow, this is from the L'Oreal Colorish Quad uh, Glazed maroon glaze is the eyeshadow quad and I'm going to take this uh, dark shadow this is optional really but since I'm recreating the look I did for the Delica powder face wash review I am using the or rather trying to remember to use the exact same colors that I did for that look so I'm just going to concentrate this color on the outer corner of my eye and that will give it the true smokiness 
For the liner, I'm using the Inglot Gel Liner number 77, which is a plain black gel liner. And I'm going to line my upper lash line. For the waterline, I'm going to take my Max Molder Eye Coal and the same gel liner, and I'm going to dip the gel line, uh, the coal into the gel liner, and just line my waterline. Uh, doing this will just in one stroke you'll get a very uh, dark finish um, to your waterline, like so. Okay, so to save time, I've already finished doing the foundation, and I used the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation. Um, this is a foundation I used and I used uh, the same as a concealer. I kind of applied a little bit more under my eye area because whenever you're doing smoky eye, you need to make sure that you have a very flawless skin. So now I'm going to take the same brown eyeshadow, which is the bourgeois eyeshadow with a pencil brush. And I'm going to take this and work my lower lashes, which we did not do earlier because we had to use the foundation and concealer. So I'm going to just smoke this out under the lower lashes and that is going to give us a smoky eye effect. For mascara I'm using the Maybelline Closal Volume Express Mascara. Uh, never miss out your mascara especially when you're doing a smoky eye because without um, a mascara you know it will look very very odd. For contouring, I'm using the NYX's blush in taupe. Um, since I did a contour in that video, I am going to contour in this video also. And I'm using an angled brush like this. This is, I think, yeah, this is the Vega professional brush. And you want to contour under your uh, cheekbones. So, For blush I'm using NARS's Torrid blush and it's a really, um, it's a good blush with some micro shimmers in it. And now finally for the lips, now in that video I used the L'Oreal uh, Moisture Matte Lipstick in number, this is Glamour Fuchsia, this is a very uh, close dupe of MAC flat out fabulous matte lipstick so this is the lipstick I used you can use even a nude uh, lip gloss like the one in NYX's lip gloss this is in French kiss you can go for nude lips but since I'm replicating that makeup look I'm going to pair it with this fuchsia lips So this is a completed look you guys, it's a very classic, very elegant, very stylish smoky eye. Uh, thank you so much for watching and please do like this video if you really liked this look and subscribe to my channel if you already haven't and I will see you soon in my next video. Till then take care and have a wonderful time ahead and I will talk to you all soon. Bye bye.